I think one of the easy comparisons that people seem to make is this comparison between an artist like Franz Klein and Soulage. And when I stand in front of a painting like this, it's very easy for me to see why this is, isn't Franz Klein and why the gesture is not actually the gesture of abstract expressionism, or at least understood through the American uh, lens of abstract expressionism. Before Soulage actually traveled to America in the 50s, critics at the time were trying to compare Soulage to Franz Klein. In fact, Soulage's black paintings and marks were three years before Franz Klein started to make his. If you think about the American uh, trajectory, Franz Klein defines his language in 1950, yeah, Rothko defines his language in 50, Pollock 49. I mean, clearly the reception of Soulage in America in the 50s was, you know, he was positioned very much alongside the, the, the top abstract expressionists. And it was very interesting to see that, for instance, when the Guggenheim opened up in 1959, there Soulage is front and center in the main atrium alongside Brian Cousy.